That's not losing the money there. <laughs> we just We're out of here, baby. We're free! We have a few more jobs to do before leaving the marina and today we're installing stainless steel racks for more solar panels to be mounted. For those who are new to our channel, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe. This is our home Catalpa and our power when we aren't tied up to the docks comes from the sun. The sun puts power into the solar panels and that charges our batteries so we can charge computers, have lights on, run our fridge and freezer and pumps for the water. This makes us self-sufficient, or as some like to say, able to live off the grid. We had enough power with the solar panels that we have, but still had to top up our batteries by running the generator in the mornings when we have overcast days. But once these are connected up, we should have no trouble with power at all. These are handy little blocks. They uh, instead of welding. Hey, honey. So we've got 820 watts of solar now. We originally had uh, 520. Um, some friends of ours, uh, Greg, thanks mate, gave us two panels. So they're 150 watt panels. So we added another 300 watts onto our 520. We've altered the racks at the back so we can still fit our surfboards. Right, oh, first we're just gonna strip a little bit of wire back. Yeah, that's probably in the money there. Wait. Straight in the boat so it doesn't go in the ocean. Oh, just a bit of luck. We go like that, we just give it a little twist like that, just a little one. Not too much because we're going to swage it in a second. Got our little swaging tool here. A swaging tool. She's a little ripper, ladies and gentlemen. That's the first part of it. We swage that the onto food? there. We can check that. It's a real nice little secure connection there. And we get our part here. Slide that on. We clip that in first. Make sure we've got our little rubber O-ring in here. It seals it up. We seal it up. Nice. Tighten him up. All the cute little tools you got there. Once we're about tight, they should slip. There we go. There we have it, because these solar panels came to me and they didn't actually have these MC6 connections on there. So I've just put one on. Terminals here, which will go inside here in a second. First of all, before we get too ahead of ourselves, just cut back the wire here until we get some clean wire. You can see the old stuff was pretty dirty. There's the clean, shiny stuff. Pretty simple. Roughly need that much there. So all I'll do, don't shoot yourself in the face. There's that. And that'll get swaged onto there. Wages that nice and tight in there. There's that. We get our connection. Make sure we get our little O ring in there. That goes on first. This one goes on. I should hear it click in. Pretty click. Cool. We tighten him up. Great little terminals, these connections. 
Once it clicks, it's done. You can see the O-ring there. And then, we'll be able to use these to connect together. Oh, again, you can see the little O-ring here. Keep it nice and watertight. How we roll ready to connect up run some cables plug into the uh, regulator we should have some more power it's as simple as that that's it folks we are now just waiting for the gas bottle holders to arrive so they just went and met the dude and picked up these <laughs> The racks there. Uh, they're gonna go on where our gas bottles go at the back. So we don't have those rusty old straps strapping them on anymore. It'll be way easier. That's the last thing we're waiting on, other than parcels. At least gonna put them on the back. See how they look. Hey, Annie. See it? They're going on. This is what we had before. They're just strapped on, pretty much. Very hard to get them off and change the bottles especially in the water, rock and we run out of gas. We've got an easier way to do it now, we'll show you. Originally we wanted these welded on, but because of the non-movement order here in Malaysia, non-essential workers can't work. We use blocks to mount them on, the same as the solar panel racks. So we've got a bit of a problem. The gas bottles now don't fit in to the rack. Fixable problem, but... To get some more packers in there, because it was a bit tight. Oh, looks good. No more clips, and when we've run out of gas, we can just lift it out now, which is so handy. Make life a little bit easier, that one. All right, number two. Let's put our bracket over here, and we should have two easily accessible gas bottles. Might have to just slide the uh, old faithful chopping board down and the barbie, and get our new bracket in the middle there. We got our second one on. It's going to be way easier. Good job, babe. Job done, sweetie. So we got our new solar panels up the back. We got our racks and our gas bottles on. Scuff is ready to venture out of the marina. Woohoo! What are you doing today? So back in the early days in Catalpa, we had two diesel tanks. They weren't leaking badly, but they were seeping. And we'd always have a little bit of diesel in our build, so we got rid of those, and we put two bladders under the bunk beds up there. So we've got two quite large spaces under the floor, and I'm just gonna cut the floor open and see if we can make a space for, um, I don't know, something to go in there. You're always uh, looking for space I know, I know what can go in there. Oh. Boxes of wine, there's boxes of beer over here. The floor needs like some varnish before you do that. Majorly needs a varnish. <laughs> yeah, he decides this is a great idea to do about, you know, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm gonna have to cook dinner at some point. So he decided to cut a hole in the floor and make a big oh, mess. What do you want to do in lockdown? Like you've got to find things to do. Like, uh... Just sand those floors, eh, while you're there? Yep. We'll varnish them up. We will do that. There's something stuck in there. Yeah, that's my jigsaw blade, it just broke. I think that floor. Yeah, no, I've got one layer out and I wanted to not cut through in the first layer because I wanted to obviously step it in and that'll have the lip for the next layer to sit on. So I'm just about there, get through this layer and we'll see if there's any storage under here. What are we going to store in there? All that gold? Gold and silver. we got lots of space in there. We've got a little locker. Look how big this is guys. This has been sitting here the whole time, not being used. I don't know, you can't really see, but... 
There's a decent amount of space. So we're leaving the marina today. We're just uh, scrubbing the decks and filling up the water tanks and uh, we're going to head off. <sighs> Super exciting. We're going to go have a look around Lincoln because we haven't seen anything. We've been to one anchorage here, so excited to go and explore. So the only thing pretty much we're going to miss about being in the marina is uh, this air conditioning unit. <laughs> It has been super nice, it's been so hot and just to be able to come back in the boat and it's like 19 degrees, amazing. But we're about to turn it off and uh, that's right, we just gotta toughen up and get used to the heat again. Final jobs, we just gotta pull the tender out, fill the scrub in the deck, Taj is taking all the rubbish. And the time is ticking, six o'clock in the afternoon, you know. Usual time you leave a marina and go look for an anchorage. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It doesn't get dark until about 7:30, so we should be fine. We're not going too far. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Getting rid of all the wasp nests from when we were on the hard stand. And try the lines. To leave the marina. The sun is going down. <laughs> Be anchoring in the dark at this rate. Oh. 
too far. We are right there. And we bank it up before dark, which is awesome. And um, yeah, it's a nice little spot. So we're all fueled up, contemplating on not checking out and just sailing to Indonesia. <laughs> Where's our first stop, honey? Something Basal. 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 Big, big island. <laughs> Singa Basal. That's it, I think. About to drop anchor. Singa Basal. Huh? Yeah. All right, we're dropping anchor. That's all from us. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys and we will see you next time. Bye.